Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of ARK here on our Jurassic Park series. And today, we're gonna first of all talk about something that was a lot of like the discussion and the comments of the last episode. And then we're gonna go out and tame a Crystal Griffin, which we've seen tons of times, but we've never been able to get a high level to spawn. And uh, right now, there's like four or five of them on the map. I think it was four. It could have been five, though. I'm not exactly sure. But there's a bunch of them on the map, and that's probably because I've been limiting the spawns of a bunch of creatures. So those creatures are starting to spawn, which is fantastic. That is amazing for us. We can go get some. It's going to be really cool. But anyway, so we're going to first of all talk about the park. Are we actually going to build the park? And what would it look like? Okay. Now, I know a lot of people were really upset in the comments of the last episode saying because I said hey like I'm not really into the whole park idea anymore because like this is the best I could do with enclosures and this is crap like honestly this is the worst and I don't I know I could make it really advanced and like you know kind of <sighs> I don't know I know I could put a lot of work into the enclosures but I feel like the amount of work versus the video content I could get out of it it's just not worth it it really isn't because like, even just placing down all this stuff takes a little while, and this is so basic, but if I went and used all my skill of building, like, you know, look at this freaking amazing workshop that we made, it's so cool looking. If I put the type of skills that I have of building into the pens, it would take ages per pen. It seriously would. Like, I made the pens in the last uh, base area that we had, the original one, and they were okay. They were still pretty basic, but they still took so long because the more detail I put in, the longer it takes to put in the detail and the longer it takes to recreate the pens. So I'm not sure about actually building the park per se. Maybe we'll do a couple cool enclosures for creatures, maybe like an Indominus Rex enclosure or something. Like we built our really cool Pteranodon thing up here, which I actually like. This is cool, but I don't have to make like 20 of them to fit you know, 20 different types of pteranodons. This is just our little pteranodon pen, and it looks really cool. So, I don't know. Maybe we'll just do, like, spotlight features for just several creatures, but I don't know exactly how detailed I want to go with the actual pens on them. It really, it's about motivation. It's about, like, whether or not I can make it a video, because if I can't, then it's a huge amount of time of me doing something that doesn't make a video. <laughs> <laughs> Which, for me, right now, I've not got a huge amount of, like, my own free time, and I'm trying to get a little bit extra, so I'm pushing Syntac back a little bit and saying, hey, you know, you only get these hours to be, to be you. You're like, you can take over the body for these hours. I'm not schizophrenic, by the way. <laughs> you can take over the body for these hours, and you get these hours, but... You know, for the rest of the day, it's me. It's it's the main guy. It's it's him. <laughs> he gets to, you know, watch movies and do stuff that's fun, and and cook and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. I I'm I'm really torn because I I could put in the work and do it, but it's just not gonna make videos. So maybe we'll do specific pens. Leave some suggestions down below. Like an Indominus Rex pen is obviously gonna happen. I feel like a raptor enclosure could be cool too. Maybe we'll even try to make it kind of like the enclosure from Jurassic World. I don't know, but we'll see. Anyway. Oh, you know what? If we did do an enclosure for raptors, we could put a bunch of doors in there to try and train them and teach them. <laughs> oh man, uh, that's not even funny. All right, well anyway, guys, make sure that you hit the like button if you find yourself enjoying this one. Um, one more thing I want to mention, actually, before we get on to the main spectacle of today. Oh crap, did I, where did I put it? Uh, do I still have it? I think I might have accidentally like oh there it is okay. I Didn't know where I put it so Another like another little kind of suggestion that I was thinking of like hey Why don't we you know instead of making an actual park? Why don't we actually just do taxidermy stuff because taxidermy is like a really cool thing that they added into arc The only issue is is that it doesn't really work with modded creatures <laughs> So this is that idea is a bust like why is it back here? How does this even work? It looks cool, but it's back there Another thing that uh, I should probably mention is not not all of them are like that by the way Some of them are some of them are just weird. I'll show a couple here But um another thing that I should mention is that it doesn't change the poses on them at all I don't know if this is something that Godzilla the mod author could fix if he could that would be fantastic And I'd really appreciate it dude but I don't I don't think you could I don't know if you could fix this like I don't understand what's happening here <laughs> But uh, here let me let me show you so 
Uh, can I get... Okay, there we go. We gotta put that there. Let's just... Let's drop in a bunch of them here. Uh, we can't put them all in. Let's do that, and then... Um, we'll put... What is this? The Ultimasaurus? Okay, so that one works. That one looks cool. I like that. Uh... What else? We got the Super Toronto. That one is weirdly big, and it's floating. But, you know, it works. It works. Um... Let's do the Mosa. Another case of it's just not working. <laughs> Uh, we got the Indominus Rex. It kind of works. It actually looks really cool as well. I like that a lot. But, um, it's still, it's floating for some reason. <laughs> what else we got? Uh, Car Char, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, he's working. He's actually pretty good. Uh, Athena, which is our Rexy, is floating up really high. <laughs> so, like, just a lot of these are really messed up. This one's ridiculous, though. This is like a full-size freaking Bronto, or Bracky even, not Bronto. Like, this just does not work. <laughs> it's just so silly. It's like, I mean, it's not the full-size, like, but if you compare the height, I mean, I don't want to walk that over here, but it's definitely like two-thirds of the size of an actual Bracky, and the Brackies of this are massive, so yeah, that's just, it's not going to work, so... The taxidermy stuff would have been really cool. I think another one was super messed up that I kind of want to show off. Was the Giga. Oh, yeah, the Giga, the armored Giga is tiny. <laughs> it's like, the thing is so big in the game, but it's tiny in this. I don't understand. Oh, that's that Indominus. Uh, do I have one of the other Indominus? I don't know if I got one. Uh, this is the Quetzalcoatlosaur, blah, blah. Yeah, he's pretty cool. His feathers actually... They kind of like blow in the wind. This one is another example of one that actually turned out really well. What else we got? V-Rex. Uh, is that one even in there? Okay, we got to take back a bunch of these. So V-Rex, and then there's another one that I didn't show off. Uh, so yeah, the V-Rex, another kind of case of like, yeah, that looks pretty cool. It's a little bit small for one of the big bases, though, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Um, was there, there was another one, right? Super Toronto showed him. Oh yeah, the Spino. Yeah, floating. It still looks cool though. Um, but yeah, we're not gonna go over this anymore. We've wasted so much time on this. I just want to state that yeah, like it's not gonna work. <laughs> like this, this I don't have a, a gun, a pickup gun, whatever. I'll just leave that there. That was gonna be my solution to not do the park. You know, we could just do a giant museum. But apparently that's not gonna work out either. So yeah, we might we might have to do we might have to do like specific pens. And I've got an idea as well, like, for the creatures that maybe we don't do a pen. We could maybe do, um, kind of like a, a containment facility where it's just a bunch of, like, large boxes in a row and then, you know, glass on the front so the creature would just be sitting in there. But, again, that would take a long-ass time to do. Uh, like, I can turn up the gather rates. The gathering is no problem on here at all. Like, that is... Like, a lot of people were saying, oh, yeah, just spawn in the stuff. And I'm like, eh, like, I don't need to. The, the gather's fine. I don't really feel like doing that and then having to explain to people who will get mad either way that it's okay. But, you know, gather is fine. Like, we could turn that up. It's a solo series. Nobody's going to care. <laughs> and, um, like, making all that stuff is no issue at all. I kind of enjoy grinding out materials because I could just sit here. I could watch a movie. I could listen to music or something or a podcast and just chill here and do that. But, um... But yeah, like, that's that's not an issue. But it's the building that's kind of, like, grindy a little bit. Those two titans are still here. <laughs> um, and I just don't know if I want to take on a huge project where every single pen is, like, you know, very detailed. And I don't want to half-ass them as well and just make them, like, tiny little enclosures with just gates. Because it's not really much of an enclosure. It's just a little spot where you keep creatures. I don't know. Very conflicted. Like, the original idea was to create a really cool park... But I got more into the creatures than uh, the actual park building. And you know what? I don't regret anything because the creatures are freaking cool. We have so many amazing taming videos in here. So many crazy adventures and stuff. And, like, honestly, I'm really enjoying this series. It's probably one of my favorites that I've actually done, like, in all of my time on YouTube. It seriously has been so fun. And, like, there's a lot of really good feedback lately as well, which is great. I love that. And uh, keep the likes and all the comments and stuff coming really does help out. I know that I actually never even showed off the griffin. It's a 180 crystal griffin, by the way. There's also another high level. I think it was a 160 something. Yeah, uh, there, there are trench places over here. Now, this creature is not from 
the mod that we're using, which is the Jurassic Park mod. It's not from the mod, it's, um, let's go down this end and, and start up the trench and we can go through. So this creature is native to this map. Crystal Isles has their own kind of like creatures. So you have crystal wyverns and you have crystal griffins. And then there's like this, this phoenix thing that just looks like a normal phoenix, except I think it's bigger and they spawn like tons of them. I don't know. Oh, hey, <laughs> let's eat this thing. Goodbye. So yeah, there's like a couple creatures like that that are native to here. Um, so we've tamed up crystal uh, wyverns. Obviously, I'm riding on the blood crystal wyvern. There's also another two. There's tropical and then uh, What's the last one? Ember or something. I don't know. It's like blood tropical and then ember or something I don't know what it is, but they're all pretty cool. They do like a really nice colored breath Obviously this one has like a really cool red breath and then the tropical one is kind of like a blue breath and it's really awesome but I don't know what the crystal griffin does. I think it's just a griffin, but it has crystals on its face and it looks pretty cool. We've seen a few of them. So let's actually, let's be a little bit smart about this because once I go in there and start fighting my way through all these griffins, it's going to be pretty difficult to actually stop killing and like check and see what we're looking at. Also, there's one that's really messed up in there. They're like floating around or something. Uh, let's see. So crystal, crystal griffin. All right. So there's the 180, so that's at 70, basically 77, 46, which is obviously in our area. We don't need to click that. And then there's a 156, and then there's also these other two low-level ones. Uh, I could have sworn there was actually five, though. Oh, yeah, it's called an Ember one. So Ember, Tropical, and Blood. And those, like, these four creatures are the native kind of exclusive creatures to this map. Um, same way that, like, Ragnarok got two, uh, well, I guess a couple more than two. Ragnarok got a couple like native creatures, which is the griffin by itself, although now that's on other maps as well, which is, I guess it's okay. It kind of cheapens it a little bit. And then there's also the, what else is there on, on Ragnarok? The Ice Wyvern as well. So like more creatures like that. Once this map becomes official, I'd say that they're going to redo the models for this and the griffin as well to make them a little bit more unique. But uh, I'm really excited. I really quickly just got to stop and uh, and just do something. But I'll be back in one second, then we'll get to taming. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I had to quickly just reply to an email. Um, I saw that come through. My freaking computer is coming on Monday. I'm so excited. Today, well, for you guys, the video is coming out on Friday. So on Monday, I'm getting my new PC. I know I said I was going to get it a long time ago. There was a little bit of a delay, which is fine. Uh, actually, is that a crystal griffin right there? I don't know if I just saw one. Dude, there's so many here. It's so crazy. It's going to be so hard to actually not kill that 180 once we see it. But yeah, my PC is coming on Monday. Really excited. I actually also splashed out and uh, ordered some new monitors as well, which I'm also really excited about. Uh, all that stuff is going to probably be like posted pictures and stuff onto my Instagram and my Twitter and stuff like that. So there's links for those down in the description if you're interested. I post lots of pet pictures <laughs> if you're... If you like that kind of stuff, and like a bunch of the cool uh, bits and bobs that I kind of pick up from time to time. But um, yeah, I'm really excited. I'll eventually do a video showing the stuff off. Uh, are, the, are you even coming for me? Okay, there we go. <laughs> I'll do a video showing the stuff off, but I don't really feel like doing an office video showing that off right now because there's still some things I need to build in my office. I've got like my desk, but I've got two other kind of like side desks which need to be built. And I need to just take some time and do that. Um, so yeah, lots of stuff that needs to be done. But once it's all done, there will be a kind of like an office tour. And maybe I'll show you guys my apartment as well. Let's see. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, come back here. Yeah. So wait, 77 wasn't it? 77, 40 something. So I don't exactly know where we are. This whole trench is just very dangerous. Okay, we're pretty close. Maybe 46 is directly that way. I think it was 46 anyway. We will need to kill every griffin around before we even try to tame one of them. Because, like, I wouldn't be very happy about, you know, somebody knocking out a human and trying to tame them. If I was around, I'd probably try to stop them. So I assume the griffins will be the same. Oh, there's a crystal griffin. Oh, it's so laggy and glitchy for some reason. But that's kind of what they look like. You see, there's, like, crystals in their forehead. And they've got like crazy colors as well. That looks so cool. 
Um, I've seen a couple different variations, but that one actually looks really nice. I think the first time we saw one was on a video, and I was like, looking over, I was like, oh, dude, that griffin looks amazing. And then it was like, oh, what the hell? It's a crystal griffin. I didn't even know they existed. <laughs> so cool, but, uh, eh, die. <laughs> But yeah, they're kind of like, they're super rare compared to the normal griffins on here. But I'd say once this map becomes an official map, people are just going to go crazy because there's so many griffins that you could tame. I feel like Wildcard might want to change that. Are you dead? Did they not even eat that dead body? They killed like a Taurosaurus there and they just didn't even eat it. Come on, that's just it's wasteful. Look at that. And look, there's perfectly good DNA there, but I won't be able to get it because these things... We'll try to eat me. My character, at least. Alright. How many freaking griffins does I have to be in here? Look at this place! There's feathers everywhere! Okay, let's just power through and maybe we can try to spot them. So, like, I'm just gonna look for super colorful looking griffins because it's kind of hard to distinguish them from a distance unless you spyglass them. Oh my god. <laughs> the dude is, like, taking a beating here. Ah! Okay. Come on, buddy. Give it up. Yeah, the burn on the griffins isn't great with the... with the wyvern, so it's probably not even worth doing that. Like, we do a lot of DPS once we actually hit them, but the, the kind of DOT with them is like 12 damage, which is not even worth it. So it makes it kind of pointless. But it is fun to blow fire at them. If that is what I, I'm, I'm shooting. I don't know what, exactly what this stuff is. I can't even do it. <laughs> I actually, another really cool thing about this trench area is that there's a bunch of nests, but eggs never actually spawn in them. Instead, a bunch of really cool materials, like we've got element ore, we've got the gems, we've got just other stuff here. Like a bunch of stuff just spawns up in those nests and then down here as well. So really cool. Um, do we have any... Crystal ones there. I don't think any of these are crystal. Okay. Oh man. I assume that once this comes out, there's probably gonna be like an alpha griffin or something. Or maybe the crystal griffin is gonna be an alpha. Actually, I don't even know if the crystal griffin's tameable. I'm just gonna assume it is. I think a long time ago I saw a thumbnail for for like a video. On crystal griffins and I assume that somebody was riding on one I don't know I think it might have been a video from Axeman I'm not exactly sure I might be lying let's uh oh, man there's so many dude okay where exactly is this freaking thing where are we right now okay I, I assume it's gonna be like right over there by that rock that's probably gonna be it maybe even just on the other side actually Come on. Gah! You guys are ridiculous. Just die already. Okay, one more. There we go. Now let's just regen some stamina. Let me see if I can spyglass some of these guys. Uh, there's like a cool green one there. Are you? I didn't see crystal when I... No, it's just a griffin. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, did I just... Oh, there's rock elemental over there. I didn't know that they could spawn in here. Don't know what's over there. All right. Let's go have a look anyway. Yeah, I thought you might aggro. <laughs> ah, you're only a low level. All right, buddy, meet your end. There you go. All right, you too. He didn't even attack. I like set him on fire and he didn't even attack me. Haven't seen that crystal one yet, though. Super strange. You need to die. I feel like the DOT should be higher with this breath. It's like 12, look at that. It's not even worth setting them on fire. It's worth like doing this just to try and kill them from a ranged attack or whatever, but... Oh, here we go, rock elemental. This is where we need a Velanosaur. Frickin' rock elementals are the bane of my existence. Frickin' creatures are so annoying. Alright, let's bring them over here. Come on. What is with this? I feel like the... the 
Oh, okay. It kind of looks a little bit weird. It's almost dusty in here or something. You guys see that? Maybe it's getting foggy. I still got to put in that fog remover mod to properly get rid of it. Uh, well, the trench continues over here, so let's have a look. Oh, look at that one. Hello. Oh, that's it right there. Look. Oh, it's got like purple crystals. Oh, dude, that looks amazing. Okay, what else we got over here? We got uh, we got the other one there. Uh, okay, that one there doesn't look as cool. This one here looks a lot better. Holy crap, the 180 looks amazing. Uh, we, let's kill this one. Oh man, we gotta like try and just maybe even just snipe some of these griffins from a distance because once I want to tame, like I don't want any of these guys around. It's gonna be kind of difficult to even tame it anyway because I didn't bring proper trapping uh, apparatus. <laughs> I don't even know. I kind of just winging it, I guess. I do have quite a strong rifle, so it shouldn't take too many darts to knock it out, so it should be okay. It's not like insane torpor, it's probably just usual um, torpor on them. It's not like one of the Jurassic creatures where they have like 50,000. Alright, buddy. Come on. Come on, fly by- oh, come on, fly by me! I can't hit you if you don't come near me. Hey! Oh, he's dead. Cool. Ugh. Eating so many freaking griffins here today. And now it's foggy, so... Well, I, yeah. I'm just gonna... I'm literally just gonna wait here for the fog to be gone. And then I'll bring you guys back. Okay, here we go. There it is right there. Maybe I can aggro it and bring it over here. Could be worth trying. Maybe we can bring it further down the trench where there's nothing else. The only issue is I'm afraid that more creatures are going to actually aggro on me once I do this. Kind of cool if the crystal griffin was like their savior or something, you know? The type of one that they'd all protect. Oh, he stopped. He's super derpy though. Hopefully he's not like that when he's tamed. Oh, we hit him. Oh, you're fast. At least I thought it was. Interesting. It's like super derpy. Some of them are really derpy though. I feel like maybe either the server needs like a restart or something, or maybe they're just like that. I don't know. Okay, let's kill this one. Freaking trying to interrupt my taming. Can't even hit him. There we go. Ah! That completely missed. Come on, buddy, get out of here. Okay. Oh, we gotta reload. Oh man, a bowl out or something would be great if it could work on it. Oh, what? <laughs> okay, never mind then. Oh man. I could probably tank a few hits on my character with, with this thing. You know what? Maybe tech suiting it would be better. Let's do this. I fly up. I'm gonna pick him up, and we're just gonna tech suit it. This oh, this did reload. We got a shoddy in case uh, of emergencies where we have to deal with a bunch of creatures attacking. There it is. Oh man, completely missed. Freaking griffin taming traps are gonna be insane around this area once this freaking map comes out. Oh no! Ah! Oh, he's yeah, he's pretty fast, but I think I'm a little bit faster. I could do this. Oh, did that not hit? Damn it! Oh no no no! Omega Rex! No! I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. There's wyverns as well, why is... Oh, no! No, run, run! Boost! <laughs> Omega Rex is a boss, and I don't want to deal with him. Over here would be better. Oh, it freaking hit the rock! Stupid Dwayne. Run! 
Okay. <gasps> what am I doing? This is the worst idea ever. He's gonna get knocked out in like the worst area or something. Uh, what is he fighting? Vultures? Dude. Why? Why are you fighting vultures? Why am I fighting vultures? Get out of here. Vermin. Okay, that one's dead. Ow. Frick, it hurts. Leave me alone. Go. Can't even hit them. Okay, you're dead. This is like the longest taming video. Most of it's not even taming. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Come on, buddy. Ah, oh, why are you running at this point? Here we go, we got him. Oh, come on. Don't do this to me. We got him. Dude. Go away. Okay, he got him. Teamwork. Whoop, 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 whoop. Reload. Reload. The head of that not hit. How did that not hit? That one definitely would have hit. Ah! <laughs> okay. We're just gonna continue to fall here. Hello. Okay. He is, uh, he's running. Also, it's, it's worth noting that they also do not have genders. But for some reason, there's, like, nests and eggs. Well, like, there's eggs in some of them. They're not, like, pick upable. I don't know. Why is there a bunch of wyverns coming out of that trench, though? That's so weird. The wyvern trench is over here, too. So, like, this whole area, when this map becomes official, is going to be just crowded full of people. Because it's it's just such a good area. Hey, we got him. Let's attract anything. Oh, no. I hate raptors in this mod, man. We have a bed over here. What the hell is this from? Oh, hey. Okay. I need to go get my... I know where I am. It's, it's okay. We just gotta run down this way and then up a hill. I think. <laughs> gotta go get back. Gotta go get back and grab my wyvern, though. Holy crap. Oh, man. Come on. Stupid freaking raptors. Get out of here. Yeah, that's right. You better run. But I'm not gonna allow you to get out of here, though. Oh my god, please don't run towards the griffin. I will. I'm gonna eat your children. Why? No! Why? You ass! What did I just say? Give me this freaking shotgun. Dude, I'm gonna kill this thing. I'm gonna kill it. Why did it run towards my freaking griffin? <laughs> you ass. Ah, oh, that's the worst. Well, at least I could build a pen around him. That's okay. We just gotta somehow heal it, though. Uh, we can drag creatures over. Oh, dude, this is a mess. That's the worst. Why did it run towards that? Like, it ran away from me because it was hurt? Okay. Why run towards this freaking griffin? This thing is beautiful. Okay, if I go back and get some gates, I should be able to trap it using these. Or not gates, but... Well, I guess they are gates, actually, because these, these are gateways. So if I just do this... And place them around him like this. Should be able to kind of trap him using that same RG trap. Just place a gate on either end. And then I should be okay. But I gotta wait for it to wake up. Luckily, it actually seems to be dropping pretty quick. Let's just do this just to heal him a little bit. Is that gonna work? I don't think that does. Oh man, this thing looks so cool. So yeah, a uh, bit of a mess. It's okay though. We, we, can, we can fix this. It's just gonna take longer, so I'll knock it out again, and then, you know what, I'll just bring you guys back once it's actually tamed, because that's the important part. <laughs>
the worst. Well, here it is, the Crystal Griffin. I had to head back to base because we have to... Well, I mean, I could really even actually ride on this thing. It has a lot of weight, but, like, I, I was just way too heavy. But we also had to fix up our armor as well. But we've got it. It's pretty freaking amazing looking. Let's actually land down and just look at its face because I think that's the main spectacle. That adorable little crystally face. So, yeah, it looks super cool. Seriously, like, those crystals look amazing. And they actually fit in really well just, like, exactly where they are. I kind of... I think months ago, before I even properly checked out this map, I was thinking, like, oh, crystal wyverns, that's gonna look really derpy. But they actually turned out pretty well, and, like, the griffin as well. Looks super cool. I like the way there's a bunch back there, and then there's just a few up here. <laughs> so cool looking. Um, it would have been kind of nice if you had, like, I don't know, it's just me kind of coming up with ideas, but, like, more kind of crystals, like, throughout its body or something. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, super cool. I would love to actually see if Wildcard could, like, make their own version. Because, obviously, like, I'm not I'm not throwing shade at, at, the, uh, at the map developer or anything, or whoever actually made this. I'm not sure exactly who made this. But it's pretty freaking amazing. But Wildcard have, like, professional people. And they redid the Ice Wyvern from, like, just what the Ragnarok devs had thrown together, which actually was pretty good by itself. But they redid that, and it looks freaking amazing. So I would be really excited to see if they could redo this as soon as uh, as soon as this uh, map comes official. And I assume that this is going to be the first map, I guess, after Ragnarok to become official because they've had so many maps in the sponsored mod program that, like, I don't even know if that many of them are even still in there, but Crystal Isles has been in there, I think, pretty much since the start. So I'd be really surprised if they did not make this one official. Plus the fact that a lot of people play on it. It's pretty freaking amazing. A lot of things need to be fixed with it, though. There's a lot of frame rate issues. Oh my god, that's a really cool looking Rex. Are you kidding me? Look at that thing. That thing looks freaking insane. It's blue. It's completely blue. Dude, I need that. I need that Rex. It's such a low level, though. It's not even worth taming. But, um... Yeah, there's a few things that need to be fixed with this map, like frame rate wise and stuff. Like, you couldn't actually ship this map as is right now. <laughs> Because, oh my god, what is that over there? Ah, land quick. Just land anywhere. Land right here. We need to get our stam back. Oh, I didn't realize I was going to take fall damage from that. Oops. But uh, yeah, the frame rate issues are really annoying on here. But if they can get that fixed, then this map is golden. It's really cool. It's also not finished as well, which is really exciting. So let's go ahead and pump that in. I forgot how trash... Uh, the stamina on Griffins is. Oh, I didn't even swoop properly. Let's do that properly here. Okay, not bad. Damage isn't too bad. Not bad indeed. I don't know if it can dive bomb as well. It probably can. Oh, we're completely out of stamina. though. They're eating me. You can Edmundosaurus's. Look at these things. Oh my god, they're actually freaking wrecking me. Uh-oh. You guys need to leave me alone. Ah! Okay, I need to just get away. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh man, this thing's almost dead. Oh, they're still attacking. Go away. There you go. Leave me alone. <laughs> Are we going to be okay here? Kind of nervous at this point. Can't even see what I'm doing. Oh my god, we're still getting attacked. Alright, we're just going to leave. Let's just go back to base. <laughs> I need to level this thing. It's like, it's too weak against the creatures of this map. But that's okay. I mean, like, oh my god, now we have to land again. <laughs> ah, stamina all these things, dude, it's the worst. Yeah, it's it's not going to be fantastic against the creatures on the map. I should probably, like, power level through eating, like, baby eggs or whatever. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's more of, like, the spectacle of owning one of these. They are beautiful. Oh, they're after me again. We got them. That was a 174 and everything. Oh, I didn't mean to hop off. 
Okay, come on, come on. Hey. Come on. Let me on. Okay, stop. Okay. We're okay. <laughs> Alright. Um, yeah, we can't really do much more. Let's just head back to base. Uh, we don't really need to, like, go around killing stuff. We tamed it. It is amazing looking. Really cool. I can't wait to actually, like, properly play with these in Vanilla Arc. Uh, they're gonna be really amazing, and I think a ton of people will straight away try to tame the ones of these that are on the maps when, uh, when freaking Crystal Isles comes out. I'm just realizing that, you know what, I'm just gonna pick this thing up on my shoulder. That way I can keep it safe. There we go. Awesome. <laughs> I can get around quicker than it can. But uh, yeah, guys, if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to see more like this, you can, of course, subscribe. And uh, we'll be seeing you in the next one. Look at these freaking Taurosauruses.